Long days, long and nice. You feel? Dirt. Say it again, man, and that's a reverse. Uh, uh, never rehearse. Jump in it first. Call up the nurse with the beat in her verse. Uh, uh, this is absurd. Uh, 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 go get on the tracks, man, and leave it as far. Don't got a nerve, man, I never curse. Just casting these spells when I'm spelling these words. That's real, that's real, that's too that's real. Too real. I've been rose about I need a new deal. Trying to figure out what I should do still. I'm still. Really never waiting here to still. still. I don't even know what I should say at all. Should I jump on it? Should I get it? You know, we, we all spin tires, no matter if it's in a straight line or if you're going wide or if you're doing a donut. People like to go wide, some people like to go do small donuts, some people like to do figure eights. You're constantly looking left, looking right, looking left, so you're looking at the car in front of you, making sure he ain't spun out, and then you're also looking at the crowd, making sure people behind you ain't getting close enough or there's sometimes vehicles parked there. Sometimes you clip one of those vehicles thinking, you know, you got enough space and you'll smack the motherfucker. So a lot of people try to come up with like a negative feed on the sideshow, but there's no solution. The legal process, you know, messes up a lot of people. And once they get felonies, this if, if you get a high speed chase, it's a felony. And I got two points on my record and I don't know how much it cost, like 500, 600, 700 dollars. And that caused me to lose my license for a little bit. And I didn't just get that ticket. All my passengers did. Being in a Honda. Yeah. So the penalties are kind of bad right now. I personally haven't got a car impounded, but I've seen people that, that do. And I, I guess I, maybe I've just gotten lucky. I always have registration. I always have insurance, a license. That's my biggest thing. Um, and maybe the cops will you know, pay attention to what we're doing and see that we're trying to help this younger crowd out and get them out of the harm's way. Like I understand that, I've lived that, you know what I mean? So I want to be able to help take our, what I guess would be a sport or our passion into a legal venue to where kids don't have to have to lose or risk, I should say, that they don't got to risk, you know, losing the rest of their livelihood over, you know, doing a donut. Because that's insane to me. Like I said, even if it's for that one time, it's going to lead to more events, um, which will hopefully take some of the heat off of what's going on in the street. Um, and maybe the cops will, you know, pay attention to what we're doing and see that we're trying to help. I do, I do do some drag racing, which is cool, but the way people are competing now is they're, they're not street cars no more, man. You, you gotta have 1500 to the wheel, and that's just out of my budget. There's no competition at side shows, man. You can pull up with 100 horsepower, like I said, weld a diff and send it and enjoy the night. And it's just people, you, you, you gotta know who you're swinging with. You don't just go out there with a random dude and you know try to tandem with them nine out of 10 times. A motherfucker can't drive, he's gonna smack your car or he's gonna end up hurting somebody because he can't keep up with paying attention to your car and the crowd.
all I did was just take the bad shit I was doing after assessing the situation. The only really bad thing I was doing was actually participating at the actual spec as a spectator at the sideshow and getting in the car with everybody. That's what I was doing wrong. Actually buying the car, flipping the car, building the car. There's nothing wrong with that. It's not illegal. So I just took the legal part as far as participation and did the same exact thing I was doing and, and I felt that I had a winning recipe. And that's what happened. You spend the same amount of money on a sideshow car than you do on a drift car than you do on a quarter mile car. You still need horsepower, you still need suspension, you still need a tune. I feel you spend the same amount of time, if not more, practicing honing your craft. You still need seat time. The background that I have and the goals that I have for the shop and all of us here at the shop as, as one moving forward, I feel that we're in a perfect position to be able to have that voice in the street to the vendors. Like, look, we're using your products. We're installing them on these people's cars, and these, you don't even pay attention to the customer base that we have. The customer base that we have is a demographic that does spend money that should be acknowledged and respected, and this is what they like to do. Just so happens we like to do it too. Man, they, they used to come to a corner where I lived at, basically in front of my house, and I was just watching them do donuts as a kid. Come outside happy, just how uh, Walter explains, you know, it's an adrenaline rush. Man, I was just a car junkie as a kid. It's a, it's a way of life for me. We don't just take your car in. When you come here and you get your car built by us, you become part of the family. There's certain people in this room that we've never met in our life and they're standing right here and they're going around and doing all this with us. Any questions I have, anything that I'm not sure about, they got advice, they give me multiple options. It's never been a difficult conversation ever. It's always been very seamless, very easy and you know, my dad hasn't seen this car once, not once, and I'm taking him out to Vegas to LS Fest, and that's where I'm gonna show him the whip, and he's gonna see. Uh, our specialty is LS swaps. We do where, whether it's uh, newer cars, older cars, anything you want LS in, man, we got you. I love the feeling of this shit. I love the, hearing the engine roar. I love the smell of rubber and watching all that smoke go up in there. Okay, so at the rim shop, his, his rims are in, my rims are in. You gotta go to Gordon and sit down with the motor now, tap the beat. I got a call. I don't know if he's ready. He told me on Friday he's gonna be ready for all this. Uh, the four to stroke rating is a shelter camp something is a perfect fucking uh, middle ground. We're used to building like dump beach trailer. Now I get too scared to drive down the block. I have $60,000 to do a 2001 Camaro SS and I'm behind my shoulder and behind my back every time I'm driving it because I'm worried that I'm going to get pulled over, get a ticket, get a 30-day income. Don't be a bitch. Don't get in the car and drive. That's it. I'm going to work with my wife. I did that. I will not use it for him. I'm going to get the money for him. You guys are 60 days away from fucking my event. Less than that. We're a month, two weeks away from our event. I ain't worried about the money. Are you on the fucking list? Get the fuck out of here. Oh, <laughs> God, you shit out Years ago, man, we used to fuck that cul-de-sac up right there. We didn't have to go too too far to go do our donuts, man. We were here at the fucking corner. No issues, man. Can't even start your car out here no more. Hit somebody being mad. You know, the whole car stance about getting behind the car, having the skill, the throttle response, enjoying it, you know. Um, it's not about this whole vandalizing and 
beating up people. Nowadays it's so hot with the police and getting your 30 day impounds and going to jail and your speeding contest and the points on your records. What's nice about having a one stop shop. But it takes a lot of effort to do that. You have to really communicate, make those personal bonds and have a lot of trust with someone to come drop off your car and drop off $40,000 with it on top of that. been in the body shop world since I was about 13 years old. From there I just started doing sanding, moved into the office. Um, now I actually run the whole gig and the whole deal. So we paint regular cars, insurance work, things like that, but I recently started getting into the custom world, the one-offs, the, the difference, the wow factor. You know, it, I've always liked beautiful cars. We call it pretty horsepower. Um, it is kind of a whole different level though when you actually touch everything from custom undercarriage to custom suspension painted pieces everything comes black or red or you know basic colors but what about a you know attention to detail small things like that so you had to have rims you had to have paint you had to have interior you had to have a motor you had to have every car car touched so when I was a kid you know to be able to cruise on the weekend with them they would always make me clean the wheels so I used to hate, even today I hate cleaning, but I don't mind cleaning wheels just because I know how, how it makes a car look different, whether the wheels are clean or not. So that's kind of where I would touch touch the cars. I, I like to see the chrome and the gold get cleaned up and that uh, it just always kind of stuck with me. My first, it's funny, my first car actually was a Honda. It was about the first time a, a Fast and Furious came out. It was like. 99 2000 I had a 95 Honda Accord um, it was either a, a lowrider or the Honda the Honda was a thing back then so I think I think between all, all the all the big names that are involved mm -hmm. and, and, and with the opportunity I think we can really take care of it and secure it. oh yeah so okay. I'm not worried about the crowd at all I'm worried about the actual functionality yeah. throughout the day just because I've never done it this big yeah you know what I mean? This is a this is a big state. Yeah. Yeah. When we pull this off, and then we're gonna go right back to do Vegas. I already know Vegas is good. Yeah. We we did that last year. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. So, I mean, it's, it's a beautiful thing. This is a beautiful thing. And, and, and the drifting was the same way when they first started. It was illegal. It was right. frowned upon. It wasn't right. nothing. Time. Now it's a household name. Yeah. Right. right. Yep. Donuts the same way. Right. Side shows the same way. So what I saw last year was like, man. This could be a household name. Right. Could have been there, so it just takes that push. Well, so. Why is enjoying a sideshow going to be, you know, frowned upon compared to like in the quarter mile, or the eighth mile, or a drift event? So I feel that with my background already being in prison and me already being in the streets and me having these kind of cars, coupled with our car club, you know, being a forefront of the culture for a long time, you know, I feel like I'm part of the problem. So I want to be part of the solution too. Uh, you know, being able to, to take a mainstream and show, you know, show the world this is our sport. They're going to be in a safe environment. We're pulling them off the street, get them onto the track, do what they have to do, and then go home. No high-speed chase, none of that stuff. Taking it to the track, it's actually, a, I feel like it would get very big because there's a very big following base to sideshows out there. And We'll see from this year's Holly LS Fest, you know, there's gonna definitely be, or even the Sack Raceway thing, there's gonna be a, there's gonna be a lot of people there. You don't have any concerns that day. Come out, change your tires, do your show, put your other tires on, we're going home. There's not gonna be any 20 day holds. Uh, nobody's getting hurt. Uh, if you smack a wall, that's on you. So um, if we have tires in a, in a mobile tire station right here, People are gonna keep wanting to go back, go back, go back. That's dope. You know what I mean? That's Only dope. time people gonna want to get out is if they blow their motor mm -hmm. or yeah. the tranny tran or rear end or whatever. You know, mm -hmm. so I'm trying to make it as, as all inclusive to where people don't have to leave as possible. Yeah, yeah. That's Just my keep, goal. Keep them coming. Through. I think going to jail is the best thing for me. I wouldn't be able to do this shit in 2012. Wow. I was full of shit. You know what? Though? I mean, I'm full of shit, but I was full of myself. Right. Like, man, I but know our probably... cars are dope, and I know yada yada yada. You know, I, I see my growth 
Right. And that, and, and I think that's where, you know, me being open-minded, not selfish, that's where we're going to bring everyone together and we're going to win. Because, man, I'm really, this isn't a, this isn't what, what, what I want for myself. Right. I think the community needs it and I think I'll win and it being the facilitator. So, and, and out of all, like as you saw when we were walking through here, it's all the potholes and shit. Yeah. This is pretty solid right here. Okay. You know what I mean? And what, what they wanted, they wanted me to pave over this shit. And originally I agreed to it just to have the, the event. And I said, hold on a minute, side shows is meant on the street. Yeah, it's a street. We go around potholes, we go around uh, it, fucked up concrete, all that shit. Fuck that. Travel, everything. Whatever Fuck that. the turf is, that's what it is. So this year we're going to be putting together a trailer that's going to have a compressor inside of it, a tire machine, and we're going to have tires and we're going to provide service to all the guys that are going to put on a show for the pit and the drift event. And we're going to be changing tires mobile right then and there so they don't have to run around. And so it's his job to take in a car and tell the customer, hey, what do you want done to it? He specs it, he builds it. I come in and do the tires and wheels. So he'll tell me, hey, this car's got so-and-so brakes on it and we need tires and wheels for it. So it's my job to spec it to make sure it fits properly without hitting, rubbing, or messing it up. I am in the middle of resurrecting my truck called Foxy Cleopatra. Three, two, one. That uh, I built um, with a couple of my buddies about ooh, five, six, seven years ago. Did some cool stuff with it. One of the not so cool things that I did to it was that I wrecked it and I drove the thing into a water barrier. Because like I said, I built the truck originally to autocross it and now I see myself kind of, if there was a sport called drift crossing, I'd probably be the guy that would sign up for it. The idea came up that uh, I wanted to rebuild it and people were asking me about the truck and what I was gonna do with it. And I knew that I had to kind of kick it up a notch, you know, like it couldn't just be Foxy 2.0 without being Foxy 2.0 something. I mean, with watching everybody the last couple of years at LS Fest, having fun with their vehicles, I wanted to make sure that I was gonna have just as much fun with mine. So, when your best friend Buttercup calls you up on a Sunday morning and says, hey, buy you breakfast and lunch, if you come help me out with a little thing I gotta do today. I said, hey, you my boy, I'm a fat kid, I need to eat. Let's see what we can do. Well, when he tells you that, he knows that you know how to paint. And now I have a spray gun in my hand, and I have a truck that is taped off and ready to be primered. Guess who gets to do that? I'm cheap labor, ladies and gentlemen. Go, Bobby. We done? I mean, it is an old Chevy pickup. So we're gonna lighten it up with a few parts from uh, Muncie Speed. I mean, it really fit in the category of the, uh, the, the unrepresented, which was there was a lot of people doing some really cool stuff with C10s, but there was just no, no real uh, strong composite representation around that. Uh, there were a couple one-offs, and, and some people just kind of, you know, trying or, you know, doing just those custom pieces, but there was nobody really doing it. Muncie Speed Cooking Show and today we are going to go from all the raw ingredients and take all of this and we're going to make this and then from here you end up with this final product. 
several amounts of uh, F oh, bit, bit, take two. Here we go. Actually, keep all of that in. Here we go. Um, so there's been a lot of work just to get to this point. So multiple layers of wax, and then we've got a release agent that we had to spray, dry, and then a clear on top of that, spray, dry. That's where we're at right here. So make sure that we're gonna reach all corners. We're good. First layer is most critical because that's the layer that when you pop the part, that's what people see. They call it the uh, the veil layer or the cosmetic layer sometimes. Um, you know, purples, blues, pinks, stuff like that. So um, just worth mentioning that it's not just old school twill weave black. You know, that's kind of the standard in automotive, but ghost righted whips or whatever it is you guys do. <laughs> Silly. Silly stuff. Just uncalled for. Vacuum. This looks pretty tight, but we're going to let this vacuum down for just a minute or so. The main purpose of it was to go autocross racing. Uh, a lot of guys at the time were building kind of just trucks that were low and, uh, you know, maybe in my opinion, slow. And when I thought about rebuilding it, I really wanted to put more horsepower to it, which I know sounds kind of funny after a guy like myself already had went ahead and crashed it. Rather than going the supercharged route, uh, I went ahead and looked into doing a turbocharged uh, system. No hesitation, I gave my buddy Peter a call up here in Fresno, California. He's my engine builder from Peter Kai Racing. And he talked about building a 410 inch LS. So the reason why we went so big on the engine size was to basically get the bore size that we needed to be able to run an L92 head. The LS engine makes a really nice platform for doing these transplants, engine transplants. The power that you can make out of these things is ridiculous in, in some respects. My name is Peter Guy. I own and operate Peter Guy Racing Engines in Fresno, California. Primarily I build racing engines and fabricate. Made my reputation in engines doing big horsepower 91 octane marine motors and uh, do a lot of LS motors for sand rails, custom cars, race vehicles, etc. Uh, when I was, grew up in New Zealand, I completed my apprenticeship as an automotive engineer. When I came to the United States, I ended up working for a company called Performance First Marine doing turbocharged custom motors for boats. Moved into some boat racing engines and competed myself in Grand National Endurance Circle Boat. I've always liked the 55, 56, 57 shares. My grandparents had a 55 share, so, it, so it's uh, always been a vehicle that I've wanted to build. Flat out engineering provided the Corvette conversion. So it has Corvette front suspension and rear suspension on the stock 56 chassis.
should handle, steer and stop way better than the original 56 suspension. from the Corvette C5 suspension with coilover shocks from Alden. The motor's out of a 2008 Silverado. We did a camshaft change on it, bolted the Holly accessories on it. The motor on the dyno made 460 horse from the original 310 horse. just noticed that the main cross beam in the top of the roof here cracked over there. Oh, we don't need that. So Peter's going to make a good situation out of a bad one by making a uh, trolley system with that. We can put a crane on there or a trolley on there and make a, an engine hoist. So this goes to show you that Peter's pretty crafty at things. Anytime. <laughs> so he goes to the house to pick up some of his parts that delivered to my house. There's a stack of brand new tires from Falcon Tire mm -hmm. for his truck and a little box. He picks up the little box and brings it back to the shop. I said, what about the tires? He goes, oh, I didn't have room. I didn't have time. I said, you always brag about your little PT being a little pickup truck. And it is. Right? PT pickup truck. But that's bulk. Right, engines, 
cranks, whole engines, the whole engine in the back of your PT. What did we just pick up from the machine shop, right? So you have a pickup truck too. Just saying. Your tires, you should have loaded them up while you were there. Nope. Because you're wrong. Uh, it, always. <laughs> there you go. That's what we want to hear. Jesus. What you want to do? Whatever you want to do. Going Hey, this one's red, so it'll add like 10 miles an hour. <laughs> Recommended. Four out of five. So anyway, um, Frank made us up some patch panels that you can't get for the inner side of the uh, rust repair. And then we got the outer panels from Brothers Truck Parts. So I'm gonna go ahead and weld all this stuff up right now and we're gonna get this thing into primer. Um, basically, we're gonna take it in primer, just etching primer, because uh, there's no way for us to get this thing painted before the show. And uh, I don't really feel like trying to kill myself, trying to get it done. So whatever it is, what it is, here I go welding. Got my helmet on too. Kids, safety first, stay in school. And you are mine. Well, that voice is gone. gone. Okay, oh, uh, I'll finish Another half hour at least. Uh, hey, we're gonna do a sex. I'm gonna see if we're gonna do a sex. Speedway show go down right now. Space and time change it all. Now we find these vacant halls where those pictures used to be. Just me, I don't even think about another girl. Just the music now that you're gone. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Probably why I never see ya. Probably why I never have time for the fake friends. I won't be ya. Oh God, I've been running now. Up early when the sun is out. Not setting out my own soul, but those real ones, they coming now. Oh look, who's reaching out? Old friends wanna feature now. They don't want to stay in the
I took the truck over to PPC Customs where Richard and Trenton and Anthony did a flawless job on getting the thing set up in there. The thing that we needed the most was a way to hang the turbo. And the way we looked at things, uh, Holly actually produces the hooker exhaust style manifolds that has a turbo configuration that's off the passenger side. And really I think that's the easiest way to get a turbo into a C10's engine compartment. What y'all think? Come here. Yeah, that's perfect right there. Hey, grab that piece of TV and just kind of get a rough idea. Can I eat this in the camera? This. So that needs to come down right about there. Let me cut that and then we'll come back and take it. When you cut this at an angle, it's gonna this gets big, yeah. big, big. Cut it and see what it looks like. bought it about, I want to say eight months ago. I was going to flip it to fund my 1967 Camaro. Decided to keep it and make it the drift vet. for the dino this morning? Uh, 8.30, 10, okay.
respectful of all of all the staff helping. Uh, with this is this is Holly's event. They're they're cool enough to let us come over here and, and run the pit. Right now, this first one, we're gonna we're gonna wing it. We're gonna let you guys uh get to throw some fuck some tires off. We got SNS tires. My boy Maui Jr. right behind us. If anybody needs tire change. Show we are here. Let's get it. Let's run it. Vet C6. Let's do it.
Give me some slacks! didn't disappoint, not one bit, because I was there three days and I came home with three different dents. 
if you want to have a good time and you want to make sure that you can do anything you want to do, including drifting, drag racing, autocross, road course, the sideshow, and everything in between, this is the event for you. And if you're a fan of tire smoke, then LS Best West is the place to be. try to at least get into the 14s. I think I can because I kind of understand now when to break. Um, it's a little bit hard to judge on where you're at because you don't do it very often. It makes it tough, but I think I'll be able to do it this time, so we'll see what's up. Okay, it's gonna go. Coupler blew right off. So now I don't know where the clamp is. That's why oh, the clamp's right here. So we're okay. We're back in business. We're fixing this. Thing. Yeah, well, uh, I did bring it out this year. Okay. Um, little uh, Foxy 2.0 redo. All right, all right. Uh, got a new motor in it. Uh, Peter Guy built me a 410 inch Stroker LS. Uh, I'm gonna road course it tomorrow, uh, autocross it. I might even take a stab at drag racing it. Damn. And I'm definitely gonna go to the donut pit. You got an extra helmet? 
Yeah, <laughs> let's do this. For sure. the yellow lights anymore it's like these weird blue lights i'm like am i staged or not staged <laughs> so then the guy's like okay go and i looked over and the lights were already counting down and i'm like oh, what? oh so i got going and it just i shifted into out of second into third and that shifted all right but then when i got into third and it just when it ran into the rev limiter i'm like kicked in neutral and just coasted through emotions do you know so I'm not immune to try stop false devotion do you know so I'm not immune to try The 55 wagon what's, with what's that? that has an LSX 454. Nice. Yeah, nice. nice 630 horsepower right. and a bone stock 55 wagon. Yes. And then I brought my dually with a 2300 kit on it. We actually just finished up. Um, a uh, single cab drag truck that one of our employees has. We're introducing two new products. So we have Underhood DI 2650, and then we've got our LS3, LSA uh, 2650, which is the jack shaft style.
got some drifters coming, y'all. They want to see what the side show is about. One, 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 on, one shot. Now the future for sure. Let's go. Yeah, I was building on the lecture. Versus coming daily under pressure. Breaking on the plot and the skin. The true style trade off is at the edge of the field. We're talking one. One shot for the kill, the breeze cut, freeze up, straight drop in the chills, I'm talking. Taking over pieces and shares, a ball break sky high, check the movement is here, yeah. Yeah, it's one heart, one shot, now the future is yours, go! Dreams into reality In the lab with the formula in chemistry The memories spark and motivate And make the industry shake We put the bars in the place I'm talking one One chance at best, yes Painting pictures for the culture Keep the brushes fresh Took the cover with the drum of passion Never rest Freedom is our teacher Under pressure, now we bless See I was so good for the go It's one art, one shot Now the future is yours Go! Yeah! It's one all one shot, now the future is yours, go!